Hey everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel once again, and welcome to this incredible event today. I'm David Golden Dawn Imperator David Griffin, and by my side, I have Golden Dawn Chief Adept, Leslie McQuaid. Hi everyone, and welcome. We're so excited to be able to tell you about the new changes that have come to the website. You see, we were attacked by a cyber attack. We got hit with a massive cyber attack last Halloween. And it took down our membership site completely. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. We could have put back up the old things the way they were, but we decided that this was a perfect opportunity to modernize not only the website, but also our teaching methods and, and also to improve a lot the curriculum of the Golden Dawn. So here's what's going on. We're very happy today at Summer Solstice. Happy Summer Solstice, by the way, everyone. And happy full moon. Isn't it nice how they're going to happen on the same day? How about that? So here we are. We want to reveal to you the Outer Order courses of the Neophyte grade. This is from the first grade only. This is the first year's courses, and there are 11 of them for the first year, and that is a, comprises a total of 176 lessons. Now, we thought we would go in here a little bit deeper and show you around a little bit. Let's take a look at the Neophyte Orientation course. This is to just get you started and show you way, your way around. Lesson one, your path begins. So this just gives you an orientation to the Golden Dawn a little bit, the various parts of your training. Then comes... Lesson two, unlocking hermetic philosophy, the key principles. Once again, this is a very, very basic introduction in, in the second course, you're going to get a lot more material on this. We have an entire course devoted to it. Lesson three, monthly reports, reflecting on your magical growth. Giving you a structure for <clears throat> reporting on your work and, and noting your work and so that you can use it later, especially in sharing with your mentor, which brings us to lesson four. Mentorship, guiding your development. So here's where you get the personalized guidance from your mentor. Once a month, you send a report to the, your mentor, and you get it back with comments and, and suggestions. Now, you also, however, have a chance to meet with your mentor once a year. In lesson seven. Your milestone to mastery, the grading process. Now, this is the interesting thing about the new way we're setting this up, because there are people who want to get into the inner order, want to become adepts, and they need and will want to go through a traditional initiatic process which means you go at the end of each grade, you take a test, and then you go and you get a physical initiation in a physical temple. However, not everyone's interested in that. There are people who just want magical training and come to us just for that. Well, we have what you need there, there too. And that's why we have also, also a virtual path. If you choose the virtual path, every year you will get a whole new set of lessons, a whole new set of courses, like everything that we're showing you here today is for the first grade, the neophyte grade. Next year, you'll get the courses of the Zalotter grade. Otherwise, you can take the tests and go on and become an adept after you take your initiations in a temple. All right. So let's see, where did we leave off? We were at mentorship and I jumped down. So lesson five. Live webinars, enhancing your magical studies. The webinars are a very important part of your training with us. We have two webinars a month, every other Saturday. And that's one of the places where you will meet with the community that here we talk about in Lesson 6. The power of shared wisdom. You'll connect with the global community of practitioners, not only in the webinars, but also on our forum, our Initiates Only Forum, right here on the Golden Dawn Membership website. We talked about the grading process, and then Lesson 8 introduces you to your Daily Ritual Practice, your key to magical awakening. Absolutely, the most important part of your time will be your ritual magic practice. We practice the magic of light, also known as light work magic. And finally, Lesson 9. The Magician's Implements, Crafting Your Toolkit. Right. So... That's just a, a quick look at one of the 11 courses. And this is a very short one. There are only nine lessons there. For example, look at this one here, Hermetic to Rosicrucian Magic. This course has 22 lessons. 
I'd like to take you also, maybe we'll drill down a little further and look at actually one of the lessons. Oh, Angel Magic Fundamentals. Isn't this beautiful? It was really a lot of fun to make these images for you. It was really a lot of work. It's really sacred geometry and magic, exploring polygons and polygrams. Let's look cultivating, at cultivating. Cultivating mental and emotional balance and control. Just to give you an idea of what our lessons are like. You get in here and the first thing you see is the lesson image. So you can meditate on that. And then you get the actual lesson. And beyond the actual lesson, you have reflection questions for journaling so that you can deepen the actual points of the lesson in and really ground them and make them a part of your spiritual journey and spiritual practice. And at the end of each lesson, you have also recommended reading. So you can see that in our training, we are offering you traditional training as a traditional esoteric order, but at the same time, we are offering you absolutely modern teaching methods. Now, this is because David has always had this vision uh, of the synthesis of the modern and the ancient. And, you know, I've had kind of a similar vision of the same thing, bringing ancient methods to the fore, and, uh, but applying to them more modern methodology. Interesting. Very interesting. We're going to talk more about that. We have so many things we want to talk mm -hmm. to you about. Coming up in these next few months, we've been silent for a while because we've been very, very busy in creating things. Take a look at this, for example. <clears throat> I would like to talk about one more course because I think this, by the way, Astrology for Magicians, 33 lessons, really thorough. And this is not this eight-year normal astrology course. This is something special because it's specially designed for magical use. Alchemy Decoded. Let's talk about this. Magical alphabets, Hebrew. Leslie, I think you have something to say about this. Well, yes. You see, um, not everyone is as gifted as others at being able to grok foreign languages. And I, you know, I just happen to be one of those people who has trouble learning a foreign language. Um, partly, I discovered, was in the way I was trying to learn it. That's why this course is so important right instead of trying to eat the whole cow in one bite you eat the cow one bite at a time right each one of the letters of the hebrew alphabet gets an entire week of study and reflection after the introductions it begins with lesson one introduction to the hebrew alphabet lesson two history of kabbalah letter magic and then we begin with the actual letters already in Lesson 3. So, so you begin in, from Lesson 3 all the way down. How was it? It's once, once a week. So at this point, each week you're going to be getting one letter. And you have all week long to work with that letter. And you'll find suggestions on how to do that in the lessons themselves. I particularly enjoyed the calligraphy aspect of working on this project. because. You know, the whole idea of these magical letters is that the letters themselves have power. And so in wielding the pen and ink and practicing each letter over and over and over and over the course of a week, as I'm studying the meanings, as I'm reading about the different nuances each letter contains, the actual drawing of the calligraphic letters really helps cement it in. So that's what we're up to. That's what we've been up to. And we're very proud to share with you today. So this is just the beginning. We're show, sharing with you once again the courses of the neophyte grade of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn within the Alpha Omega. This is the only Golden Dawn order, the only order where you were going to find this particular training. We like to think that we offer them this course in the Golden Dawn training in the magic of light or light work magic as we like to call it is the most thorough magical training in the world and i can speak a bit to this having studied magic all over the world um there are schools of shamanic work schools of witchcraft 
druidry. There's all kinds of different ways to learn magic. But of all the different forms of magic that I've been exposed to and had the opportunity to apprentice under, the Golden Dawn system is by far the most thorough and the most, frankly, the most logically or uh, the most logically laid out as far as what you learn when. When you're learning the neophyte lessons, rest assured you are building the foundation for a strong future in magic. So we have completely reformed the Outer Order curriculum beginning now in 2024. As you can see, we take the original core curriculum of the Golden Dawn, but we take it to a whole different level. Yes, because what we're doing is we're applying modern teaching methods. By this, ancient techniques. Right. Uh, by this, it means that rather than just throw you all the information at once, we're taking time to make sure that we're attacking your need for knowledge with the three methods. Methods matter. Hmm. Okay. For example, of course. All right. Can you um, learn the equivalent of a bachelor's degree in, um, I don't know, let's say social sciences by studying on your own? Of course you can. But is that the same thing as a Harvard degree? What's the difference? It's the same knowledge, right? The difference are the teaching methods, hopefully. You have a university with fantastic teaching methods. Well, these days, nah, it's a good question. But the teaching methods of the university matter. And the same when it comes to magic. The teaching methods of the order matter. And we are very proud. In our te of our teaching methods, as well as the thoroughness of our curriculum. Yes. If you will simply invest the time in reading each and every course, answering each and every question, and following up on at least a third of the outside readings, you will be more prepared, more knowledgeable, and more expert at magic than many PhD scholars out there purporting to talk about magic, what it's for, and how it's used. <laughs> uh, Leslie speaks about that with some authority. Well, folks, that's about it for today. We're really glad we had a chance to have you here and introduce you to the 2024 Reformation, Rosicrucian Reformation of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. In recognition of the speeding up of the times that we're in, where we're living in times where a decade happens in a week. So. so that's about it for today. We'll see you again soon. And we have lots of news for you. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.